Now then, do you remember this Aurora 2 kilowatt? And we were having a problem with it. And it's just come up on the screen. Error ground fault. Let me just zoom, bring the camera in a bit more. There we are. So, this whole story started. Well, A, we got this and I tried to uh, fix it. And then B, um, Owen was saying that on the Solis inverters you can switch off the ground fault monitoring under service. I thought that's mighty interesting. So then Mick from uh, Buy It Fix It contacted me a while ago about the uh, about replacing the relays in the Aurora 3.6 you know the ones with um, it's a white case with the heat sink on the top half yeah so I thought and he and then he put a video up about passwords yeah I thought that's mighty interesting and I'm going to put a link at the end of this to his video because there is some software uh, and there's a link to some software in his description of that video showing how to or how to get a key generator or a password generator for the Aurora service section now probably what I'm talking about at the moment is fairly vague to most people so we're just going to see what happens so we, we're pressing yeah let me just move this down a bit yeah we're pressing the escape button okay then we're going to go down to settings and then we're going to press enter and normally that password hasn't been set so you just keep pressing enter which is fine then we're going to go down to service and we'll go enter now the password here this is the problem because it's not a generic password it's a password for each um, inverter so this password generator that Mick had um, found yeah so that is the code of this or the serial number from this inverter and this is the the password that his generator created 918359 okay so uh, we want a 9 so we're going to go 1 down and that's a 9 then we press enter then it is 1 so we're going to go 1 up and then press enter then we've got an 8 so we go 2 down and then we've got a 3 so we go 1 2 3 then we've not got a five, so we can go up or down. And then we've got a nine, so we go one down. And you press this, and it goes error set clock. What on earth's going on there? Yeah, this makes no sense whatsoever. And I'm going to put a little clip in now of a, a normal 3.6. What happens when you put the wrong? Um, password in. So I'll just do that now. Nine, four, six, six, two. There we go. Enter. Wrong error. Wrong password. Yeah, and then it resets. Okay, so that's what happens with the, with the uh, this type of Aurora inverter. One of those, the 3.6 kilowatt. Okay, so you've seen that. So what we need to do now is go escape. 
and um, where are we going to go? Up? No, down. Time? Is it that? Set the date. So that's the time, so really it doesn't matter what the time is at the moment. So we'll just go, it's one minute, enter, and then um, that's it, that'll do. So the date, okay, so the date is actually, where are we, the 26th. of uh, October and 2022 okay so we've set the date date okay and then we're just going to time again enter yeah and it's all set okay and we have to go through this press the button too many times okay so the date is set so we'll go escape and we'll go into settings and we'll go through the password which is just keep pressing enter and then we're going to go down into service right so we'll put the password in again now we've set the clock and um, we're going to go nine so one down and then we're going to go one then we're going to go eight then we're going to go three then we're going to go five then we're going to go zero uh, no we're not we're going to go nine so one down. So we're going to press enter. We've set the clock, all right. Oh. What? Escape. Right. So where's the clock? The clock was down from here, wasn't it? Time. Enter. That makes no sense. Yeah. So let's go escape. Um, let's try somewhere else. Escape again. So we're going to go enter. The statistics. Let's enter that. Oh, access denied, battery low. Hopefully you can see this. Right, okay. So these have got little button cells in them. Yeah, to keep everything going. So, maybe that's faulty. So I'm just going to have the top off, I'm going to switch this off, have the top off, and we'll have a look. Okay, got the top off, and it's all switched off, and it's isolated. So here's the button cell, just here. Just there. So we go from the front to the side. 3.07 volts and I'd say that was all right but it's saying it's got a low battery so I'm just going to change that and again I'll get back to you in a minute right so I've just um, change that battery and hopefully we've still got the ground error okay so let's go into let's zoom down a bit more let's go into escape and let's go into statistics access denied battery low so we have a fault there not only with the ground error but with the internal battery 
because the internal battery that I put in was 3.1 volts. So there you go. We can't put a password in because the internal battery won't support it but the internal battery is alright on voltage. So something else is going on. However, this video really is about the fact that uh, let's go escape and then down and then enter settings and then one two three four and then down you can get the service password so as I say I'll put a link to on the end of this video to um, mix video on his channel buy it fix it and hopefully you can get into there and um, switch off the ground fault sensing um, and if not see the rest of his video where it shows how to connect a laptop to um, one of these I'm gonna give you I'm just gonna show you the side of this now and there's a very interesting bit there where on mix video at about one minute and five seconds up in the left hand corner it shows an angled view of the inverter he was dealing with which is a 3.6 Aurora and it shows the serial number which is just six figures long but on this one this one here and the white one that I showed you earlier when I was accessing the password the 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 uh, configuration of the serial number it's got the year uh, date uh, month and year date in front of it so it makes it rather confusing so I'm just going to show you that now so here we go and as you see whereas mix was let me get a screwdriver his serial number was from there onwards we've got 1408 on the front which again is the weak code so that confused the merry hell out of me because I thought I haven't got a six figure I've got more I've got ten there we go so there you go and it's interesting that again I've got a white um, Aurora just here and it has the same configuration let's have a look at that and look it's got the same configuration that says 1320 and that says 2013 how very odd and then the six figures so is that tweet week 20 of 2013 and why have they put it the other way round stranger than a strange thing hey whereas I say on the one that Mick was dealing with there was just that as a serial number but I think his was a later machine and I know the manufacturers of Aurora have changed at least three times and he explains it in his video in fact this is a three if we look up here he explains how everything's changed where are we yeah that's a three kilowatt this one now apparently no there are some ports under there for communicating with it but again Mick said they were wholly unsuccessful and the way to communicate with these is and here we go it says RS485 and it looks like there is one two three four connections now I know some RS485s have only got basically you can get them with a USB that goes in the side of your laptop and then 
either two or four or five screw connections. Now I haven't got a clue which ones go to which so hopefully Mick will um, clarify that situation on the comments on this video. But I thank Mick for his time and his effort and putting the the information out there. He's obviously a bit into this computer programming and code and all that sort of thing and it is rather a mystery to me. So anybody who's got uh, ideas I'd love to hear from you. Right then we'll leave it at that. Catch up with you soon. Cheers for now.